guys, welcome to Sly Hat Lessons. Today we're gonna to be looking at a six count pattern that you can use in your everyday drumming. And what's cool about it is it's using our left foot or hi-hat foot as a part of what we're playing, as opposed to the traditional sense of having it keep a steady pulse under what we're playing. We're actually gonna use it as a part of our fill. So to split this six count pattern in half, the first three hits are gonna be snare drum with our right hand on count two, closing the hi-hat, hitting the hi-hat one more time, and then let's do a release with our right hand coming on that last note for the and of two. All right, now let's put it with a groove. So we're gonna use the simple rock beat as the first part of our beat. So we're gonna have bass and hi-hat coming down on count one. The and is going to be hi-hat alone, and then on count two, we throw in that pattern that we just learned. So I'm going to give you some examples of different ways that you can do that same pattern, because it doesn't always have to come after count two. It could come after the and of two, or it could have different things coming before it, different things coming after it, a whole bunch of ways we can play it. So here's some examples. So here's playing the same pattern, but now on the and of two. Here's hitting the floor time instead of the snare drum. Here's adding some 16th note hi-hats afterwards. Here's doing that same pattern, but now we have the snare drum at the end instead of the hi-hat. All right, now let's finish out the whole six counts. So the second half of this pattern, starting on that right hand that we had, we have right, right, left. That's it. So the whole six count pattern, we got snare drum with our right hand, closing the hi-hat, hitting the hi-hat, right, right, left, and then let's do a release on the next count, which is gonna be hi-hat and bass drum together. All right, now to put it in context with the beat, we have a simple rock beat in the beginning, and right on that count two, we're gonna throw in that pattern. All right, so again, like last time, we don't have to play it exactly like that. So let's say we want to replace that less left hand on the hi-hat and put it on the snare instead. So now our pattern is going to look like this. All right, so now let's put that idea with a groove.
Cool. So what if we take that six count pattern, that variation on the pattern, ending with the left hand on the snare drum, and just repeated it over and over and over? We would have something like this. So let's make that a fill. So let's start that on count one. We'll go one triplet and triplet, two triplet and triplet, three triplet and triplet, four and four snare drum and open hi-hat. All right, that's what I can do with the idea. Figure out what you can do with it. See how you can move it around. See the different places that you can move it. Not on just down beats, but on up beats. Left hand always doesn't have to hit the hi-hat. You can move to the snare, the high tom, anything that you want to do with it. Have some fun with it. <laughs>